This video explains the UC host car variable which stores settings for the agents. As you probably know by now, many of the system-wide, client-wide, and agent-specific settings are defined in variable objects. For agents, we have a variable called UC host car which stores agent settings and keys and values that apply to agents. The system can be configured so that agents can either rely on a set of default settings which are stored in a variable called UC host car default, or they can have their own custom set of settings and we'll show how to set this up next. The way the system works is as follows. This setup applies to client zero only. It cannot be propagated to non-zero clients. In the host variables folder of the process assembly perspective, we find a variable called UC host car default. This stores default settings for all agents post installation. You have the option of creating new variables and substitute the variable extension, in this case default, with one of your own. In this new variable, We'll be able to make adjustments to the settings so that they apply specifically to one or more agents. Then, in the X variables folder, we find a variable called UCX host car. This variable contains a map between your existing agents and your UC host car settings. By default, they're mapped to defaults, which means we'll use the UC host car default variable. But if you add a value and substitute default with a text string that you used in your new UC host car setting, then the agent will use that variable instead. The important aspect is that the text string you use has to match the extension. Let's start by looking at the agent settings and create a new variable. We are in client zero. In the process assembly perspective, we head to the host variables folder. In the folder, we find the UC host card default variable. This stores all the settings for all agents by default. Let's consider some of them. There's a number of settings. Some examples are anonymous FE, FT, and job, which force the association of a login object with job and file transfer executions. Change logging days sets the frequency in days applied to the change of agent log files. Keep alive sets the frequency of communication signals between the agents and automation engine. Workload max FT and job Set the maximum number of execution resources for jobs and file transfers. As you can see, all of these values can be customized. We've considered the actual settings. We can now figure out how to set custom settings for specific agents. For this, we use UCX host car in the X variables folder. We head to X variables and select the UCX host car variable. Here you find the list of agents currently deployed in your environments. Default is the value associated with all of them. This means that they will all rely on the settings defined in UC underscore host car underscore defaults. When the value text string matches the variable extension, then those settings apply to that particular agent. Let's change the Windows agent value to another text string, which we will then use for a new UC host car variable. We duplicate our default to create a custom variable for our Windows agents. We'll change the keep alive value to 300 seconds specifically for the Windows agents because it's one that is very easy to check. All we have to do is renew the agent's transfer key to enable the new value. 